Alright, here's another example, and you can obviously see that this one has a vertical translation, um, but we're going to go through the same process and figure out the A, B, C, and D so we can write the equation. And the first step is to determine if we want to make this a sine or if we want to make this a cosine. Draw yourself a little mini picture to remind yourself. Well, I'm noticing that the maximum here occurs at zero, just like a pure graph cosine. So I think I'm going to decide to make this a cosine. So let's do that. Let's make this a cosine. Um, and then when we're all done, we're going to have the form y equals a times the cosine of b times the quantity x minus c plus d. So let's calculate our a. So recall a is one half the absolute value of y max minus y min. So our y max is here at negative two and our y min is down here at looks like negative six. So that's one half absolute value of negative two minus negative six. And when you calculate that out Let's see, inside I'm going to end up with uh, 4, half of 4, actually I end up with negative 4, absolute value is 4, half of that is 2. So our A is 2. Now let's calculate B, and in order to calculate B, B I need to know the period. So I'm going to look at how much distance is between my two maximum points. Well, I have a maximum at 0 and a maximum at 2 pi, and we know that that is one cycle. So it looks like my period is 2 pi. If my period is 2 pi, here's our formula, new period is equal to the pure graph period divided by b, so b is equal to your pure graph period divided by your new period, which is 1, so b is 1. Be real careful not to say B is zero because we didn't have a change of period. All right, so now let's calculate phase shift. Let's see if there is any. So the phase shift, the way to do that is, you see, phase shift. You want to look to see where our maximum is. Well, we have a maximum at zero. And in the pure graph, the maximum is at zero. So it looks like I do not have uh, any phase shift, so no phase shift. So if there's no phase shift, that means that C is zero. And now let's calculate D, our vertical shift. It's obvious there is a vertical shift, but let's calculate it. So the formula is Y max minus A. So our y max is negative 2 minus our a, which is 2. So if you calculate that out, you get negative 4. So our d is negative 4. So now we're able to write the equation. y equals 2 times the cosine of 1 times the quantity x minus 0 minus 4. And yes, we can simplify that a little bit. I'm going to do that over here. Y equals 2 times the cosine of x minus 4. And if it helps, put that x in parentheses so you'll know that this minus 4 is on the end. And then that is your d. There you go. There's your equation of this translated cosine function.